This is Hannah Take Two. <laughs> Sarah's story. This is Lyra's story. When I was in Yarlswood, I found it hard to believe that I was in the UK. I saw so much misery and depression and mental illness while I was in there. The healthcare here is no good. I get no response when I request help. Your sovereignty is taken away, which gives you a feeling of depression and low self-esteem. I feel weak and in pain. My blood pressure is very low. The other week I passed out, but healthcare just took me back to my room and left me there. Pregnancy is a beautiful experience and I wanted to enjoy myself during that time. Being held in detention was agonising and I was worried most of the time. Upon arrival I was taken to the doctors at Yarlswood and given tablets to stop my morning sickness. I was very unsure about the tablets that they gave me. At this time I couldn't go near the dining room because the smell of food would set me off vomiting again. I was so worried about the baby inside me as I was not managing to keep much down. Last time I was in here, I was on medication for sleeping and depression. I stopped the medication when I got pregnant, but there's no psychological support for me here. They would give me their 71 pence daily allowance to buy cornflakes and milk from the vending machine, because this was the only thing I could stomach. My iron levels got very low and I was fainting a lot. The other women would pick me up off the floor and support me. There is constant crying and self-harm because the women don't know why they are there or for how long. These are women who are desperate. Detention is not a place for pregnant women. I hope and pray that this concept of detaining pregnant women is abolished forever.